everybody welcome back we're with texas all water fishing and let me tell you the surf is green all the way to the beach it looks great it's almost three o'clock in the afternoon and i had plans to go this morning but unfortunately i wasn't feeling that well so i stuck around the house i did a quick edit for a video edit myself and my son out there fishing in the surf and well <laughs> My friends went up and hit the seawall this morning, hit those rock groins, actually during lunchtime. And I'm not gonna say their names because they were fishing for about two or three hours. One caught over 20 and the other one, I don't know how many he caught me, about 15 he said. So I'm heading there now. I, I finished my edit, I got everything. I'm still feeling a little queasy, but when the water is green, I said this before, when you hear that the water is green and you see that the water is flat, stop what you're doing and run out there, go get in the water, go weight fish, roll the dice, walk on a rock or two, go to the, go to one of the piers, do something, anything, just get your line wet. So we are headed there now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back. Fingers crossed that I can still get on the fish like those guys were. We'll see. We'll see. Like a red. red. Feels like it. You got your net with you? I don't know what you're talking about, Eric. Hey, you want the net? Yeah, you got one? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I didn't bring the fucking net to my truck. Come on. That's a big one. I'm not going to be able to pull this one up. Oh. He's trying to keep him out of rock. Trying to bring him over here. You got it, Joe? You good there? Hey, Joe! My man, Joe! Yeah. Did it come off, too? Did it go? Yeah, it came off. Came off in the net. Came off in the net. It, yeah. yeah. Came off in the net. Yeah, right. Came off in the net. All right, just got this nice red right here. Nice guy. Get that guy right there. Nice big red. You take my picture with him? Yep. Put him on that spring when you get fun. <laughs> All right, so I caught it on this, I think about a couple ounce spoon. It came out as soon as he hit, as soon as he hit the net. But this is like a knockoff version of Castmaster. Get them online on Amazon. This your net, sir? This your net? All right. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. But one thing I advise you to do is always change out the rings on these spoons, both split rings, and then change out the hook too.
All right, so we came out to this other rock groin. You know, we went up and down the seawall. That's kind of pretty much, you know, I know a lot of people always ask me, well, what rock groin are you at? What are you fishing? Well, we really look for the clarity of water and we really look to see how crowded it is because trust me, if there's a lot of people here and we don't see anybody catching anything, we just keep moving on. But run this rock groin, you can see there is absolutely nobody on it but us. And the water visibility is pretty good. One of the other rock groins we normally go to, the water visibility was bad about eight inches so we skipped that one came over here fish right here and we'll just see what's up check it out see what's going on sun's starting to go down a little bit a little bit late in the late in the late in the afternoon early in the evening and uh well let me get my line wet there we go yeah I can't believe I lost him. Where's he at? I can't see him. He's gone. Dang it, that was a good trout. I lost a big one in the uh, one like this morning. I tried to know. I wanted just to get him here, to place yeah. him here. And he, you can see right here where he hit. Yep. He hit, and he went straight Rain in. Oh. That's it, you know, that's the thing. That's the thing with trouts. But that's the thing with trouts, man. They're, they're mouths. Yeah, soft. Too soft. That's why I don't like. Not having a net. Yeah, that was close to uh, just confirm with Eric what he thought it was. I thought it was about 19, 20. He's feeling the same thing. He said he's closer to 20, but man, I just hate losing that trout in those rocks like that because the tide's not going to come up anytime soon and it's just going to, you know, I mean, you can say what you want. You should bring a net. Where's your net at? This and that. But honestly, that was kind of on me. I wheeled him over to try to get him to. Uh, I want to get him to the center just in case if he did fall I was gonna see oh, he was gonna fall kind of in the center and I'll be able to get him out in the high ground and well he fell in the center but he went under a rock when he fell in the cracks all right so we're gonna we're gonna keep casting just throwing this big old cast master spoon two ounce and I'm just kind of just letting it fall pop letting it fall pop you know you got to change the technique a lot today I think Cody told me earlier when he was he was fishing just a little while ago, he probably changed it up like six times and caught a caught a handful of fish. So you just gotta change it up and see where they're at. You know, I'm not too sure what the depth is here. I've never been out here in a boat or anything or a kayak where, where I have a radar to kind of know what the depth is. So kind of just playing by ear uh, or playing by feel and kind of just, you know, taking a shot in the dark, blind casting, letting it rise and fall, giving it a different counts, letting it fall down maybe four seconds, seven seconds, eight seconds, and then starting to swim it then to fish those different water columns, so. I wish you would've held on. There we go. Yep. Smaller. Oh, he came off. He he shook it. He shook his mouth. It came off. Ah, he came off. Shook his head. He came off. <sighs> yeah, he might not bite for a while though. I know. One, two, three, four, five. Count. And just kind of raise it up and pop it. Let it fall. Raise it up. Pop it. Let it fall. Fall for a few seconds. Fall for a few seconds. Birds, see you see birds diving. That's that's. There we go. Got another one. Uh, Put that spoon on, Eric. Time to go back to the spoon. Yep. Soon those birds started working. This is a better one. Don't cast oh, over. Yeah. Oh, he came off too. Damn, Dang it. Good crowd, bro. That was a better one. Yeah. 
Yeah. That would have to be at least 20 inches. That was a good throw. Everything got a fish on. Let's see him. Let's see him. That's like the eight time Eric's done that. He's like, Ruben, Ruben. Uh, uh, uh. Man said he let it go. He dropped it. He let it go. It was a weed. It was a rock. Eric likes to see me run back and forth and forth and back. All right, so that's gonna be it. You know, I came out late. Um, Eric and a couple other friends came out earlier and they tore him up. We came back out again to see if we can hook up. You know, I guess Eric felt bad for me because they didn't even call me and let me know this time. I you got told, it. I told her after the fact. Oh, we caught this, we caught, we caught this, we caught that. Do. So- Somebody got business to take care of. So anyway, we came out unsuccessfully, but successfully. We had a good time, got to see some pretty water. Eric got to see me, so that's always a plus. But hey, if you like this video, please subscribe. Hit thumbs up, subscribe, push the bell notification, let you know the next time I upload a video. Hopefully next time you catch me cooking up. Thanks.